Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Today I'm going to show you how you can use OpenVPN tool in AWS. Uh, we are going to use the Pry Tunnel, which is the completely open source tool which we are going to deploy uh, in our EC2 instance. Why I'm using this tool? Uh, I've created a bash script, and regarding to that, uh, you can use that script in your user data while you're uh, uh, deploying the EC2 instance. I will recommend uh, the Ubuntu EC2 instance or you can use the Amazon Linux instance as well. So what is the reason uh, why I'm not using the AWS client VPN? Uh, for instance, um, if I need a HIPAA compliance, if you read the AWS documentation in today's date, it is clearly mentioned client VPN is not Health Insurance Portability Accountability Act HIPAA or Federal Information Processing Compliant is not compliant with HIPAA because the reason for that is at the back end uh, the server is managed by AWS so you don't have any control about uh, they don't have any control of the servers now what uh, the other solution for that is open VPN but the open VPN for AWS and other uh, GA tool you see uh, it is the prop, uh, it is the paid tool or proprietary you have to pay for the you know uh, billing hours and uses how many user you can add but uh, i'm talking about the prior tunnel it is completely open source tool you can add as many users as you want and one of the best thing that uh, it uh, give you a multi-factor authentication which is hipaa compliant for instance uh, i will set up the google authenticator and uh, set up the mfa multi-factor authentication and by using that uh, i'm going my user are going to access the uh, prior tunnel uh, client uh, prior tunnel uh, is open source at the back end they uses the open vpn so uh, they will provide you client as well uh, they have very good features and uh, they have proper documentation as well and the client i've already installed uh, is the prior tunnel client for windows it uh, provide client for all uh, os systems so what i'm going to do uh, uh, let me show you guys my prior tunnel shell script with which is regard to the ubuntu lts ubuntu 18 lts and i've set up the prior tunnel shell script which is with regard to the Amazon Linux uh, instance. What you have to do is to simply copy paste this, and or you can put that uh, in your uh, user data. So what we are going to do uh, is to launch an EC2 instance. Okay. And let's say uh, Amazon Linux. You can use Ubuntu LTS as well. I'm going to use the T2 Micro Free tier because it is just a demo and uh, any subnet. Okay. And uh, now simply, if I go to the advanced setting. You can do SSH and put this uh, in the while well, create a bash script and make it exec executable. But instead of doing that, I simply uh, going to copy this and put this in user data. Control V. This is the script you have to do. So for uh, you don't have to do anything. It will create everything you required. And let me tell you about the script as well. So uh, what I'm doing here that uh, you have to open the port. One two three two three. And this it is a uh, port, and it is going to be you know. Now uh, this uh, you have to uh, open these ports in your security groups. So I will show you that as well. So uh, click next. Uh, the storage is fine. Yep. So I'm going to call this. Uh, let me say that. Uh, try tunnel. Try tunnel. Docker. Okay, so let me exit that as well. Okay, so okay, uh, I'm going to create the new security group, uh, which is with regard to the prior tunnel. Okay, it's not there, so I'm going to call this uh, prior tunnel tunnel, and the ports uh, you have to open. It is going to be my IAP. Open the UDP ports. Let me open the TCP. Okay. If I go to the TCP, uh, okay, UDP rule and the port is 12323. I guess here yeah, this is the one. Just double check it. 12323. Yeah. This is the UDP port, although I have uh, also uh, opened the TCP port as well, which is not, I guess it's not a requirement anyway. So you have to open the 
UDP port. Uh, you can uh, decide any port of your like. So, what I'm going to do is to create a is to create a new new pair, right tunnel. And I'm going to download this. And I'm going to download this, and uh, I'm launching it. So, let me open that as well. So this is the Pritonal PAM file. Okay. So everything is uh, almost ready. You see, you don't have to do uh, much stuff as far as the deployment is concerned. Okay. So this is our instance. And what I'm going to do is to attach an Elastic IP with regard to that. So I'm going to allocate, and this is the Elastic IP, and this is just a demo purpose I'm going to uh, associate it with my Python and docker so uh, so guys our instance is almost uh, up and running so let me call this uh, Python and uh, I'm going to what I'm going to do is to make sure I, I open the HTTPS port as well uh, let me go to the HTTPS okay so although I have to open the port 80 as well because the traffic first go to the port 80 and then redirect it to this port so uh, let me open the port 80 as well I have missed it because traffic first go to the port 80 and then redirect it to the port 443 so uh, in a moment you will see the you see it is working so uh, go to the advanced setting okay and uh, accept the accept this so uh, as per my documentation the username and the password is this I've already mentioned this is the default one so simply copy this and paste it here so you are logging in a free open source tool at the back end it is using the DynamoDB as instance all the storage is persistent so okay um, I'm going to create a uh, super user let's say call this master and i'm going to set the password for the demo i'm using very weak password doesn't really matter you know so i have set the password if you see the tabs up there so um, if i go to the server uh, first of all um, let me tell you that okay uh, i have to uh, create the users okay uh, and uh, first of all organization i'm going to create the organization cloud elegant this is my company in which in which I'm working so oh, I, I give triple D let me delete this make it correct I uh, will delete uh, the test okay enter the organization and okay so I'm going to create with the valid name cloud elegant Okay, let us call cloud.com again. So this is my organization in which I'm working. Now I'm going to add one user. Let's say Asim and and I am give uh, oh, this is the pin I'm giving it. This is a demo, so just you know this is the mail or Muhammad dot Asim at cloud elegant dot com. So guys uh, a user is added so uh, I'm going to add server now uh, add one server which is going to be uh, with uh, MFA enable enable two-factor authentication and this server as I've made um, listen on port 1194 UDP I can also select the TCP port as well but uh, by default it is UDP so that is fine uh, but uh, you see in security group uh, I've not uh, uh, made this port open because it is proxied so uh, let me show you that as well you see uh, let me show you so you're able to listen so this is my uh, host port and this is the actual port so okay i'm going to call this server uh, open vpn let's say yeah, let's say call it brighton uh, server one that will be fine here yeah. dns i'm going to use this this is the internal network uh, I've, i can uh, i can extend that as well so uh, this is setup uh, with MFA um, if I go to the users area 
let me let me uh, download this uh, file for you guys uh, okay and let me drag down okay before that let me show you the uh, MFA setup as part as well okay saying server uh, must have an organization attach so uh, okay uh, if I go to the user and if I go to my organizations okay I have to attach it with the let me let me back with you guys okay okay I've created the server uh, and I'm going to attach it uh, with an organization this is the organization I've created so I've attached it uh, with the organization okay and if I go to the users tab uh, you see uh, now I'm able to uh, give this uh, give two step uh, authentication either I can give my user this key uh, to ask him or he can open his uh, mobile and uh, take the snapshot from it the easiest way you can provide the key to the user but uh, what I'm going to do uh, is to attach let's say scan a barcode and let me open it so uh, I have got the barcode now I'm going to close it okay so uh, you have to download this file I'll, I guess save it on uh, on a desktop that would be better okay yes save in download area okay now I'm going to extract uh, this file you see guys this is uh, very easy to set up I have not even SSH in my EC2 instance and uh, I'm going to drag this OVPN file now uh, I'm going to click on my Pry Tunnel client which I've showed you you can download this Pry Tunnel client uh, with regard to your OS it has client with Ma for Mac OS and all these uh, clients are available according to your OS so simply I'm going to import the file uh, which I've extracted this file so let's say I'm going to connect let me um, open the config file and show you that you see uh, uh, it is going to be uh, this file uh, which I have downloaded so uh, let me uh, tell you that uh, you have to um, do one change as well edit this config file this is not going to uh, listen on this port uh, this is going to listen on the port 12323 three. save this file and click connect the reason I showed you is that I have done the reverse proxy setting so the pin I have set is <laughs> this hopefully and I'm I'm now watching my MFA in my Google client authenticator so hopefully the it, it is connecting hopefully we allowed the port as well in our Uh, let me check whether I'm connected or not uh, IP uh, okay I'm not even connected yet so uh, connection timeout uh, I have to check the logs and will uh, get back in a moment uh, okay sorry guys uh, one thing I forgot to tell you that um, I've set the server but I've not started it so that is why I'm not able to connect uh, now I click on the start server Start the server. Okay, if I go to the dashboard, okay, one organization, one server is now online. Okay, uh, let me try again. If I click connect and enter the pin, okay, it is connected. So, how it is connected? You, it is you see, uh, five second gone by. And this is the internal IP address and if I refresh this page you will see my IP change of the elastic IP uh, you see 5236236167 you see this is my elastic IP uh, let me show you guys 
5236236171 so i've uh, you see easily set up the uh, open vpn with multi factor authentication using the fire tunnel it is an open source tool and i can use as many user i want uh, it is just uh, not uh, you can upgrade to enterprise version but there is no need they will not ask you or they will not enforce you to pay for anything it is completely open source tool you can add users bulk add users and uh, do uh, explore this thing and share uh, different idea with me um, so i can you see this is the log the gui is absolutely perfect it is just like you know paid version but it's totally free um, you have to only pay for the ec2 instance uh, which is quite reasonable you don't have to pay any software cost any uh, user cost so uh, you can see the network devices and everything is there so i have liked the tool and and it is actually per client as well as uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned i might be i'm wrong but it, it it is giving the mfa multi factor authentication and the server control is totally in your hand so you can use that as well so thank you guys please like and share my video have a nice day thank you very much